Well, hello, everybody. It's certainly the case that at times like this, our community is tested and we need to draw on our values, our courage, our curiosity, our character and our respect to throw our arms around each other, to look after each other and to be positive for each other. So far, we are traveling well. The teacher who has been uh, affected is uh, very grateful for all the support that they are receiving and is certainly managing the situation well. And I'm pleased to say is relatively asymptomatic. It is also the case that we've had no further positive uh, test results and hopefully that will remain to be the case. So we are confident that we will open fairly soon. I'd like to also add that uh, this has shown that we are well prepared for such a situation as this. And I'd like to thank you, the students and your families, certainly our teachers, all of whom have worked together to help manage this situation. We are not alone. There are schools all around the country going through a similar thing. And I think as an education community, we will all work together put, to put you, the students, at the forefront as we always do. I guess one final thing for me is to say that uh, at all times we are working with both the education department and the health department, and we do what they instruct us to do. But if I could add, it's a very good time to do what we are calling channel our inner unicorn. We are very lucky that we have a unicorn as a symbol of strength and looking to the future. So let's all channel our inner unicorn and I'm sure that we will all be together again soon. Take care, everyone, and stay safe. I am honoured to announce the recipients of the Semester 1 Academic Awards for Years 7 to 9. To attain this certificate, these students have achieved exceptional academic results and demonstrated outstanding learning behaviours throughout semester one. To be awarded an Academic Excellence Award, students need to achieve an A or A plus in a minimum of six subjects during the semester. In year seven to nine, the recipients of Academic Excellence Awards are Auckland Anderson, Adib Keshtia, Robbie Parker, Will Emmons, Cody Horton, Dineth Pre Muratney, Van Steep Daler, Rowan Malhotra, James McCurdy, Talis Pritchard, and Chalaka Ranatunga. Congratulations to all these students. I also have the pleasure to announce the recipients of the Academic Merit Awards. The following students are to be commended for their dedication to learning and commitment to achieving their learning goals and learning behaviours in Semester 1. In Year 7 to 9, the recipients of Semester 1 Academic Merit Awards are Perrin Vingries, Arya D. Agara Wadouj, Muhammad Arab Isan, Joe Newman, Sathuka Paduka, Oliver Pinnock, Jeremy Bazina, Sam Horton, and William Wang. Congratulations to these students. Good morning. Today I'm honoured to announce the year 10 to 12 recipients of academic excellence and academic merit for semester one. As with year seven to nine, to attain this certificate, students have achieved exceptional academic results and demonstrated outstanding learning behaviours throughout the semester. The recipients of semester one academic excellence awards are, from year 10, congratulations, Brian Lamb, Jeremy Mohanraj, Achilla Pereira, and Logan Riddell. From year 11, congratulations, Hugo Gorky, David Gazenko, Ovin Jayawardana, Vanuka Munasinghe, and James Wang. From Year 12, congratulations, Patrick Mohanraj, Dylan Widjiakun, and Ryan G. 
Congratulations to all recipients of Certificates of Academic Excellence. In years 10 to 12, the recipients of Semester 1 Academic Merit Awards are From Year 10, Jack Finer, Jake Giddens, Jack Scarborough Year 11, Jordan Mayle, Yorgo Millis, Sebastian Nagara, Henry Zhong And from Year 12, congratulations Sanjeevi Baska, Connor Beck, Ben Bryant, Liam Kilpatrick and Miller Marks Bolton. I congratulate all recipients of academic merit. Kudos to all recipients of academic excellence and merit. I commend you on this wonderful accomplishment. Hello, my name is Dr. Michelle Andrews Luke. I work as an educational and developmental psychologist and I was delighted to join the St Margaret's Berry Grammar School community last month. Now I'm speaking to you from my home in the Dandenong Ranges and I know firsthand that being in lockdown can be challenging and so I thought I'd share my top tip for coping during lockdown which is to make time to exercise or to move. A health psychologist called Dr. Kelly McGonigal recently wrote a great book called The Joy of Movement. And in it, she writes that exercise and movement is not only good for our bodies at a basic level, it reduces stress, it improves our mood and it enhances our energy. But she also writes that being active is intertwined with some of the most basic human joys, including self-expression and social connection and mastery. So in other words, exercising and being active not only helps us to reduce stress and to feel calm, it can be a source of joy. I personally love to dance with my kids during lockdowns and I'm wondering what will you do to stay active during this lockdown? Thank you. Good morning all St Margaret's Barrett Grammar students. My name's Bianca Moran and I'm one of the school psychologists. It sure has been a big week of roller coaster emotions. I think we're becoming used to our changing situation and have taken it as part of life that we will be subject to lots of change. I commend everyone in how well you've done in adjusting to the past week. Over the coming week, I encourage you all to work out how to connect with others. Social connection has been shown to improve our mood, lead to higher self-esteem and improve our immune system. You may like to take time to do something different to usual. Maybe having a virtual movie night with friends, playing a family board or card game, reaching out to someone that you've noticed may not be as involved in conversations as they usually are and helping them maintain connection. We look forward to hearing what you've been up to. You would also have received an email earlier this week with my contact details and Dr. Andrew's Luke's details. So if you'd like some extra support, feel free to send us an email. Have a good week. Hello, SMBG community. Really excited to meet you all virtually if I haven't um, already in person. We've just been announced that we're going into another lockdown to end next Wednesday. So I hope everyone's feeling all right, looking after their mental health and um, checking in with one or two of their friends. Um, I know I'll be doing that for sure. So my name is Mr. Powell. Um, I might have had you before, whether that be Year 7, 8 Sport, Year 9 Camp, um, or VCE PE. Um, I've been floating around for the couple of days we're on campus, um, and I'm going to be replacing Mr. Simpson from week four onwards. So big shoes to fill, I know, from the big fella. He's a fan favourite down at this school, um, but I'll be doing my best to try and live up to his lofty standards, that's for sure. Um, just a bit about me. So I love my footy. I uh, love all sport, really, believe it or not, as a sport teacher, um, but also love my reading, love my meditation, um, and love spending a bit of time with friends. So really looking forward to being over at this campus. Uh, I've been traded across from uh, the Berwick campus, so I'm looking forward to you know coming here and 
really trying to sink my teeth into the Growing Good Men program as well. If you do see me in the yard, please come and have a chat. I'm most likely lost and need a bit of help. I'm probably drinking a coffee, um, but literally come talk to me about whatever. Um, don't be a stranger and I'll be introducing myself to everyone. I'll probably be really annoying stopping you in recess and lunch and having a bit of a chat. Um, but do please come up. Don't be a stranger. And I'm really looking forward to being here. And hopefully I'll see you Wednesday when we can get stuck in. Beautiful. Stay safe, everyone. Look after each other and yourselves. Catch up. Good morning. My name is Jacqueline Atkins and I'm grateful for this opportunity to introduce myself to the Barrett Grammar community. I'm also very thankful for the warm welcome that I've received from the staff and students at Barrett Grammar. It's made my start at the school incredibly easy. To tell you a little bit about myself, I'm the eldest of four children. I have three brothers and I'm Barrett from North Melbourne. In my youth, I loved playing basketball and I grew up playing for Berwick and then I represented the Dandenong Rangers and was lucky enough, fortunate enough, I guess, to play as a state representative and also spent some time playing in America. At university, I studied applied science and psychology and after a couple of degree changes, I recognised my passion was actually in teaching. And I teach psychology and physical education, two of the most fabulous subjects you can undertake. I have two daughters who bring me much joy, but couldn't be more different people if they tried. For those of you who've seen me in online learning, you will have probably seen them pop their heads into the spring. I was fortunate enough last term to be able to take long service leave and I was able to travel up, travel up the east coast with my family in our caravan. Uh, it was one of the most amazing experiences of my life. Uh, here's a picture of us up at Early Beach and uh, it was just fantastic. For the past 11 years I've worked at St Margaret's uh, and for the past three years in the role of academic growth across years 10 to 12. I'm looking forward to working in the same role at Berwick Grammar. I'm passionate about students progressing and having authentic success in their learning and their studies. Miss Cook said that when you present at assembly, you should present the book that you're reading at the time. Currently, I'm reading This Is A Call, The Life and Times of Dave Grohl. For those of you who don't know, he's the drummer for many bands, but famously the drummer for Nirvana and the Foo Fighters. I'm enjoying reading about someone who is so passionate about what they do that they want to do it forever. And they know that it takes hard work and focus to continue to do that work. I'm looking forward to getting to know you, but, and now you know a little bit about me. Good morning, staff and boys. We hope you're all settled in after last week's lockdown announcement and fitting in nicely to another round of online learning. Just last week before the lockdown, the year 12 boys headed into the city for a couple of days for our leadership camp. We're not going to bore you with an hour by hour rundown of what happened, but rather the experiences we took away from the camp, as well as how to adapt to changing circumstances. On the first day of camp being Wednesday, the Year 12 boys visited RMIT and Melbourne University and gained an amazing understanding of university life, as well as a small glimpse of what certain courses have to offer. This was a great experience that I know many of the boys thoroughly enjoyed and it gave many of us another motivational factor, such as determination during a time where finding that motivation can be hard to grasp. This determination I felt was amongst the whole cohort with realization that a new chapter of our lives are nearly upon us. Determination is about staying focused on a goal. And as long as you have a goal, you can create paths to that goal, thus moving ever closer to that specific thing you want to achieve. This determination does tend to filter in and out on a day by day basis, but with the group like the year 12 cohort, all the boys are seemingly moving together and stronger as one. As well as undertaking university visits, our camp involved reacting to changing environments and staying calm, especially with the growing COVID outbreak in Victoria. This was seen on Wednesday afternoon when our original dinner location, being Young and Jackson's, became a tier one exposure site. With some quick thinking by the heads of houses and Miss Cook, we got a new location and continued on our way. After having found out lockdown was to commence on Friday, the boys really grasped the last dinner of the camp more than originally expected. The dinner at the MCG with seven-time premiership player and coach Kevin Sheedy and grand finalist Nick Del Santo was on level two in the Lindsay Hassett room. 
Amongst the Q&A were very meaningful discussions from the guests, including Sheedy's take on life and the recent pandemic. What we really took away from the night was really about shaping your own future. If you want to do something or be something, then 